Did you know that on September 14, 2018, North Carolina was hit by a hurricane which was 400 miles wide in diameter? At one point, this storm covered an area larger than the state of Kentucky. During this storm, some areas received as much as 34 inches over parts of North Carolina, causing massive flooding. More than 40 people, including several children, were killed in the slow-moving storm. Nearly 2 million people had to flee their homes, and thousands were displaced or without power. In fact, rivers are still rising from Florence's pounding rain. Inland flooding remains at risk throughout the Carolinas. Here's where Bath County High School can help. The Technology Student Association is hosting a relief drive this week and next week for the thousands of victims of Hurricane Florence. We need you to bring in non-perishable items such as canned goods, dry food, deodorant, toothpaste, and other personal hygiene items and whatever you can bring. Any donations will be appreciated. Please provide help for those individuals who have lost everything because of this natural disaster. Items can be placed in the donation boxes located in the front lobby or bring donation items to room 112. Hey, happy homecoming, Bath County High School. It's good to see everybody out in their red and white this morning. Um, I just have an announcement for you. After the football game tonight, if you're looking for something to do, the FCA would love to see you down at the Emanuel Center for fifth quarter. If you've never been to fifth quarter before, uh, we open up like a youth center. We've got pool, we've got ping pong, foosball, cornhole, air hockey. Uh, you can play games, hang out with your friends, listen to some music, eat some pizza. We would love to see you there. It lasts until about uh, 1130 at night. So have somebody there to pick you up at 1130. Um, everybody's invited. Um, it's a good place to come if you want to have good, clean fun. If you're looking for a place to make out with your girlfriend, don't go to fifth quarter to do that. If you're looking for a place to smoke or get into other mischief, don't go to fifth quarter to do that. But if you're looking for some good, clean fun to hang out with your friends, we would love to see you there. And remember this afternoon, take a bottle of water to the pep rally, put on your sunscreen. Nobody wants to be a dehydrated lobster on homecoming dance night. I hope you all have a great day. Good morning, Bath County High School. Today is Friday, October 5th, and I am Manly. Good morning, Bath County High School, and I'm Gavin, and today is Spirit Day. Whoop, whoop, go Cats. That's right, today is Spirit Day. We will be on a modified bell schedule today, and this afternoon we will be having our Powder Puff football, along with many challenging games for everyone to compete in. Let's begin today by recognize, recognizing our number one Wildcat, our Honors Board student, Sammy Bodine. Ms. Robinson says that she nominated Sammy Bodine for the Honors Board because Sammy impressed her each day with his dedication and his coursework. Sammy strives for excellence in everything he does, she says. As a member of FBLA and STLP, Sammy always gives 100% to each of his competitive events. Last year, he placed in two separate events in the state level in STLP. Sammy also has an outstanding leadership and teamwork skills. As a class officer, he works with his classmates to achieve several goals throughout the year. He also contributes greatly to various teams while participating in FBLA and STLP. Sammy says that he has thoroughly enjoyed the past two years of Ms. Robinson's classes. He says that Ms. Robinson makes every class enjoyable, no matter the content. He also says that Ms. Robinson does a phenomenal job of teaching complicated business principles in a way that is easy for students to understand. Sammy says that while in her classes, he has learned many various components of an accountant's job. He describes the class set as one that allows students to work at their own pace. Sammy also says that Ms. Robinson's classes have piqued his interest in business and he can see it as a possible career in the future. Congratulations, Sammy. STLP and FBLA members, your practice will begin on Wednesday, October 17th and will be held each Wednesday until 5 p.m. unless otherwise announced. And STLP members, if you are attending the regional STLP competition on Tuesday, November 13th, then you will need to sign up with Ms. Robinson before fall break. Also, be sure to pick up your permission slip. Beta Club members have several volunteer opportunities available. The Haunted Library will be October 27th and 31st. Also, the Beta Club will be handing out candy for Trick or Treat. Donated candy will earn Beta members points, and handing out candy will as well. Another volunteer opportunity is the CES Fall Festival. The Fall Festival will be November 2nd from 5 to 7. If you would like to volunteer to help, please sign up with Ms. Brandenburg in room 214. Order your 2019 yearbook today. The cost is $55. See Ms. Robinson or place your order online at Balfour.com. Please place your order by October 10th to be entered into a drawing for a $50 gift card. Don't forget about the Art Club's first Paint Your Own Ceramic Night on October 18th and the Art Club's Christmas Paint Night on November 15th. For more information about the Art Club's Paint Your Own Ceramics Night, please see Mr. Ramey. Juniors wanting to take the PSAT test must sign the sheet on Ms. Stoll's door. 
The cost will be $16 and the test will be given on Wednesday, October 10th during the school day. Applications all of, are available for the 6th District Youth Ambassador Leadership Conference with Congressman Andy Barr. Please check in the guidance office for, office for more applications. Deadline it, to apply is October 29th, 2018. So let's see what our events are coming up. Well, that is it for today. Have a great day, BCHS, and we will see you Monday.